sides of the cap is actually. Okay. First thing on the list are these mechanics gloves here. Now you can have clips on the ends here. Now usually what happens is I believe I usually use. The camera review! Alright guys, so the next part of the setup is three components. And these are all part of the hammock suspension itself. It's what attaches to the tree and then attaches to your whoopee sling which attaches to your hammock. You have your tree straps, your dutch clips, and your dutch buckle. So let's break these down piece by piece. Alright guys, so the first component of your three-part suspension to your hammock is going to be your tree strap itself. Now the tree strap I acquired from a very knowledgeable and great place for hammocks called DutchWareGear.com. If you guys don't know that website and you're a hammock guy, please go visit them. They have great accessories and components for hammocks. Go check them out. This tree strap here costs about 20 bucks for the pair, I believe, if I'm not incorrect, at DutchWearGear.com. I use 12-foot straps just because I want to make sure that I have enough of strap for maybe if I have a tree that's a little bit too far away. Both of these tree straps together, not with the clips on them, just the tree straps themselves, come in at 148 grams total. They have a three inch loop on each end and they will hold up to 1500 pounds per strap. Okay, So let's look here in detail the components that are connected to it. So I said that the strap has a three inch loop on one end and there it is right there guys. This three inch loop is going to connect to a device called a Dutch clip. Now a Dutch clip basically also is a device used to lock in your strap on the tree. So you would take this, wrap it around the tree, connect it to your Dutch clip here, and once there's pressure applied to this guy, it's not going anywhere. It's going to keep the strap pressured against the tree. Now I got my Dutch clip also from DutchWearGear.com and a pair of these two titanium Dutch clips come in at about 18 bucks per strap. I mean, excuse me, per clip. They weigh in about 7.5 grams a piece and they also have a limit just like the Nano 7 of 300 pounds. And basically these are just quick release guys. There are different ways to tie a hammock to a tree this is just an easy way to do a quick release. You bring it in there, it's connected. And then when you don't want to connect it anymore, you simply move it out of there and it's disconnected. So it's just a quick release device. The next component of the hammock suspension is your Dutch buckle. Now, you're going to need two of these, one on each end of the hammock. This is what your whoopee sling will be attaching to, to hang your hammock. These come in at about $14 a pair. They are also titanium, and I get them from DutchWearGear.com. They're designed to replace the Marlin spike hitch. For you guys that have been tying the Marlin spike hitch to, to get your... Uh, your whoopee slings to your straps. This is basically what this guy is designed to replace. This is a lighter, faster, to me, a lot safer way of connecting your whoopee sling to your tree straps. Each one of these guys weighs in at about 10 grams a piece. 
and they will accommodate up to a one inch webbing. Very efficient. If you guys want to know how to use this, also if you want to know how to use the Dutch clips, go to DutchWearGear.com. Dutch has some videos, very informative videos on how you use these guys and how you set them up for your hammock. So that guy is, guys are the three part system for the hammock suspension for the Nano 7. Alright guys, so the next component is what protects me from the weather, my tarp. This is, that I'm actually using, this is a Hennessy Cat Cape Poncho Rainfly and it's completely sealed nylon. I got this guy from HennessyHammock.com. Hennessy also makes great hammocks, go check them out, they make great tarps, just great hammock uh, setups. This guy ran me, when I purchased it, it ran me about 90 bucks. Of course, it's seal nylon, which is a great, durable product, which is why it costs so much. Comes in total, just the tarp itself, at about 13 ounces. It packs down to about 2.5 inches by 10 inches. Coyote Brown seems to be the only color it actually comes in. Believe me, guys, if it came in camo, I'd already have it. <laughs> I told you it's sealed nylon. This is a 30D sealed nylon, 66 rip stop, not, uh, rip stop. In the parallelogram form, it's 69 inches by 110 inches. And then diagonally, it's 137 inches by 120 inches. Now, it's got a, uh, what they call a catenary cut. So it's not a, 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 a full diamond. Uh, when you put it in the diamond mode, it's not a full diamond. It's got a it's got a catenary cut in it. And again, you guys go check that out, or Google it, and find out what that actually means. There, it just means it's a, it's it's not a full diamond cut. It's kind of slanted in a sense. And it's very light. Like I said, it's made of 30D seal nylon. This is very very lightweight, guys. 13 ounces, extremely lightweight. This particular model actually doubles as a zip-up rain fly or a pack cover. And I'm going to show you that when I do the setup, how this guy actually works. So I can actually use this as a tarp, and if it rains as I'm hiking, I can actually take this guy, throw it over me and my backpack, and also be protected from the rain also. It has lots of ventilation. I've actually used this guy as a rain tarp once, uh, excuse me, as a rain fly once, and it was actually very, very cool to wear. Um, it doesn't, supposedly doesn't use very much, uh, it doesn't create much condensation. I didn't have it on long enough to do that, but a lot of your rain flies, especially the military rain flies, they get really warm really quick, and there's not much ventilation on those guys, so they're made to keep you warm and keep you dry. This has a lot of ventilation, it being still nylon, and it feels actually pretty good and safe as you're kind of walking along. When you buy this, it actually comes with a very, um, it comes with some tie-off ropes that I didn't really like. So what I did, let's see if I can find them here. What I did is I exchanged those tie-out ropes for, that's right, you called it, paracord. So I basically tied paracord into one end and made an adjustable loop on the other end so I can actually tie the ends off. And there's only on two ends here that you're actually going to want to do that because these are going to actually go to the ground. On the other side where it's actually going to attach to the hammock, you're going to have two things here. Okay, You're going to have clips on the ends here. Now usually what happens is I believe I usually use um, this clip here to actually put my my suspension to hang it from the tree but you can probably just as well use it for this and I think one of these is if you want to use a suspension a, a um, if you want a tarp suspension to go all the way from one end to the other on it I don't usually do that I don't like that uh, that suspension going across the the tarps like that I usually just put it on the ends 
and to keep it free floating in the center there. As long as you keep it tight, it should be good to go. So let me show you what the suspension is that I use to tie to, the, to each end of my rain flower. 